when I biscuit fired I've already put the uh, oxide on and biscuit fired it on because obviously because I have to wipe the bowl like this Oops. it would wipe the oxide off if I'd done it at the same time as glazing so a little bit of forward planning helps I think I'm only glazing this one on the inside because I like the rim, it's a nice sharp rim and I want the contrast of the glaze and the clay just to show on that rim. These are going in the kiln this afternoon so got a nice bird. So um, I'll let you see what these, what these turn out like. Uh, Day to day to tomorrow, they'll be coming in. Get all the excess clay off, the glaze off. Believe it or not, you might not be able to see it. But I need some clean water because that's going to be murky. You might be able to see it when you're wiping it off, but when it fires, you'll get a difference in um, texture on the outside, so you have to make sure it's nice and clean. Double dipping is okay, but with these pots that I bash the bottom in, you get little tiny reservoirs there, and um, you don't always catch, so cheat a little bit. Plus where I've turned them away at the outside, it's a bit hard to get hold of, so... What I've noticed you can do is, you can almost let go of the pot once you've got air trapped inside it and push it down. So you can get glaze quite low down towards the foot a bit. And then you can grab it as it pushes itself back up out the liquid. That one's taken. few splashes on there but I quite like to leave them. It's be interesting to see what the glaze does on these grooves that I've put in and go thrown it. So whether it breaks or not. It's just like a white oatmeal, uh, sorry, a white stoneware glaze, but um, when it goes thin it breaks to be a kind of brown colour, it has done in the past, kind of tan colour, so uh, it be interesting to see if it does it again. Do a bowl for you. I've already dusted these off. as well I'm just blazing to the rim so it's got a nice um, edge so you can get to see the nice thin edge. There's no point throwing a nice thin pointed edge and then putting a thick glaze over it. Not 
to clay at the edge there will give it a nice definition. So you've got the thinness of the pot, the edge of the glaze, hopefully if it turns out alright the glaze will bleed a little bit at the end in like a tan colour which will give another rim to it and it will just bring your eye and highlight the rim when you look at the pot and uh, sort of accentuates what you're trying to do with the throwing it all sort of marries together I'm doing now is I'm just going to put a bit of um, detail on the inside of this bowl. It's quite a nice shallow bowl, it's quite a nice shape, so it might uh, take a little bit of an accent on the inside. I'll show you what I'll do, it's quite simple. Still wet. Just run your finger through it. And that's it. see that I'll just get the camera so you can have a look at it. It's a little accent which will look quite good. It should look quite good with this type of glaze I've got here which is just a simple white stoneware glaze but when it goes thin it goes brown the last time we did it. It should show some of the body through it. Okay. That's some clips of me doing a bit of glazing here. And I'll do a quick couple of minutes at the end of this when the stuff comes out of the kiln so you can see how they ended up. Okay. In bit.